For the first time since it vanished behind the blinding glare of the sun, astronomers have captured an optical image of the interstellar visitor known as Three-Eye Atlas, a faint glowing smear of light, but one carrying cosmic weight. This is the third confirmed object to have entered our solar system from another star system. Moving at over 210,000 kilometers per hour, it's not bound by our sun's gravity. It came from nowhere we know, and soon it will disappear again into the black. When scientists first detected it in July 2025, they realized it wasn't like the others. Its orbit was sharply hyperbolic, cutting through our planetary plane like a cosmic blade. The message was clear. This thing was born under a different star. Then came the silence. As it drew close to the sun, Threaz's atlas slipped into invisibility, the so-called solar hideaway. Telescopes went blind. For weeks, astronomers waited, hoping the interstellar wanderer would survive the burning proximity. But even before that disappearance, something strange had been observed. Using the James Webb Space Telescope, researchers had detected a coma rich in carbon dioxide, a CO2 to H2O ratio eight times higher than any typical comet, a signature of alien chemistry. At distances where normal comets would still be inert, 3 Eye Atlas was already erupting with activity, spewing gas and ice into the void. Its jets of CO2 glistened like signals from another world, telling us it was built in conditions utterly foreign to our own. Water production rates, measured by ultraviolet telescopes, defied expectations. Over a trillion trillion molecules per second, even beyond the orbit of Mars. It was alive, awake, and hyperactive where others slept. Then, after its long silence behind the sun, came the reappearance. October 31st, 2025, the moment captured in a single optical frame. The first human eyes to see it again, glowing weakly against the dawn. The exile had returned. The image itself is almost modest, a dim blur, a thread of dust. But that thread carries the weight of two galaxies worth of questions. Where did it come from? What ancient system hurled it here? What stories of alien worlds cling to its frozen skin? Astronomer Chi Cheng Zhang, who captured the reappearance, described it as a ghost of another star. And perhaps that's the best phrase we have, because this object is not just moving through space, it's moving through time, through eons of galactic migration. Its very existence defies the simplicity of our cosmic order. A comet that is not a comet. A traveler that belongs to no star, obeys no orbit, and speaks no known chemistry. It is the physical proof that our solar system is not sealed. It leaks, it breathes, it connects. Its polarimetry has already shocked the community. The light it reflects on shows an unprecedented negative polarization, a sign of dust grains and compositions we've never encountered. Even the way it shines breaks the rules of our solar physics. This isn't just about another interstellar rock. It's about the flow of matter between suns. It's about the possibility that star systems are not isolated, but exchanging fragments, pieces of each other, across the void. And in that realization lies a deeper question. If 3 Eye Atlas can cross the boundaries between worlds, what else can? Organic molecules? Seeds of life? Do all living planets share the same cosmic bloodstream? Every time we detect a visitor like this, the pillars of cosmology tremble a little. The Big Bang, dark matter, the very notion of beginnings and endings, all these concepts grow thinner when a fragment from another system drifts effortlessly into ours. Maybe the universe isn't expanding from a single point in time. Maybe it cycles, breathes, renews. And interstellar visitors like Three-Eye Atlas are the driftwood left behind by a previous eon, a cosmic tide that never truly stopped. We used to think of the solar system as a sanctuary, a closed bubble circling a lonely star. But the discovery of Three-Eye's Atlas, and before it, Oumuamua and Borisov, tells a different story. We are part of a network, a web of stars exchanging matter like whispers in the dark. When we look at that faint optical image, we are not just seeing light from a rock. We're seeing the glow of connection, proof that the boundaries between systems are illusions of scale, not reality. Even now, telescopes across the world are racing against time. Each night, the comet fades a little more. Soon it will be gone, leaving only trails of data and the memory of its impossible journey. Humanity's window is closing. This urgency gives the discovery a human weight. Because for all our satellites, our observatories, our theories, we are still blind in most directions. We can't follow Three-Eye Atlas where it goes next. It will slip away, unobserved, beyond the reach of our instruments. And yet, in this brief encounter, it has already changed us. It has rewritten the limits of planetary science, showing us that alien chemistry can pass right through our cosmic backyard. Perhaps it also whispers a warning. If pieces of other worlds can reach us, then so can their histories, their collapses, their debris, their ghosts. What if our universe is a cycle of systems consuming and scattering each other forever? 3i Atlas forces us to rethink what it means to belong. To be local, to be of the solar system. It blurs the line between visitor and native, between foreign and familiar. It reminds us that everything we know drifts eventually into someone else's sky. In this faint smudge of light, we glimpse the infinite. 
the delicate bridge between stars, the material proof that the universe is not a place of isolation, but of exchange. And when historians of science look back, they might divide this era into two, before three eye atlas and after. Before we had proof that alien matter walks among us, and after we understood that we are not alone in the traffic of creation. Because in that quiet optical frame lies both a discovery and a prophecy. The cosmos has begun to reveal its secret traffic, and our story, it seems, has only just begun.